Another royal contemporary of both Grace and Soraya may also have made her way to the big screen if the restrictions imposed by her birthright had not prevented her from seeking a performing career. There's no doubt that the young Princess Margaret was beautiful enough to have held her own among the starlets of the 1950s. After her death at the age of 71 in February 2002, her nephew, Prince Charles, shared his fond memories. My aunt was one of those remarkable people who, apart from being uh, incredibly vital and uh, attractive, um, uh, and of course, when she was young, so many people remember her for that vitality and attractiveness, and indeed her incredible beauty. Um, but she also, and I think many people don't realize this, had such incredible talents. Um, I remember so well, she used to play the piano incredibly well, and um, she had an extraordinary ear. She could pick up uh, and play by ear almost any tune, and she sang like an angel. I always remember that as a child. And of course, she was, um, she had this wonderfully sharp mind and used to literally win crossword puzzle competitions. And I think one of the, one of the fondest memories I shall have of her was uh, always of sitting at the piano, uh, playing away with a large, very elegant cigarette holder in her mouth. And uh, as I say, we shall, all miss her dreadfully. But Charles's affection for Princess Margaret was not always shared by other members of the royal family or the general public. Thanks to her aptitude for courting controversy, she was often depicted as a rebel princess. She was born in Scotland in 1930. Her parents were then Duke and Duchess of York. In 1936, the abdication of Edward VIII unexpectedly put her father on the throne and Margaret and her older sister Elizabeth were suddenly saddled with the responsibility of being daughters of the king. As she grew up, Princess Margaret began to win a place in the public's affection. She was very different in personality to her sister, who came across as conscientious and well-behaved, while the more wayward Margaret was more likely to get into trouble. When World War II ended in 1945, Margaret and her sister joined their parents and Prime Minister Winston Churchill on the balcony of Buckingham Palace on VE Day to wave to the cheering crowds. In 1952, her father, King George VI, died and she saw the attention switch to her sister as she became Queen Elizabeth II. A year later, however, the spotlight snapped back to the 23-year-old princess when she fell in love with Peter Townsend, a former Battle of Britain pilot. But he was divorced and Margaret was given an ultimatum. Marriage to Peter would mean giving up her title and a place in the royal family. Royal duty won out over romance, and five years later, Margaret announced her engagement to photographer Anthony Armstrong Jones, who later became Lord Snowden. This time, there could be no objections, and in 1960, they were married at Westminster Abbey. The couple were the focus of high society, and they had two children, Viscount Linley and Lady Sarah. But before long, speculation about Margaret's extramarital affairs became the subject of many a rumour. Throughout the 60s and 70s, her name was linked with a string of lovers, such as Mick Jagger and Peter Sellers, who allegedly visited her house on the Caribbean island of Moustique. And in 1978, her well-publicised romance with gardener Roddy Llewellyn finally led to her divorce from Lord Snowden, and the associated scandal led to public demand for Princess Margaret to stand down. Her failing health in later life was often blamed on her earlier excesses. Known to enjoy a drink, she'd also been a chain smoker and had part of her left lung removed prior to suffering her first stroke in 1998. But while many wrote the princess off as a waste of taxpayers' money, the artists and intellectuals she loved so much saw her differently. Writer Gore Vidal was once quoted as saying, she was far too intelligent for her station in life. 
finally bound to a wheelchair, Margaret spent her last years in the bosom of her family, often appearing in public alongside her sister. <laughs>